or you could simply multiply this out. This isn't so bad to multiply it out. I mean, you could easily just apply distributive property and then multiply it out. But again, remember the main thing to write the equation of the line, we need to find the derivative, right? We need to find that slope at this given point. So we need to determine one way to find the slope. Um, and again, since obviously the instruction yes, last class period was over the product rule, let's go ahead and use that. If you remember, I'll just, I'm just gonna rewrite these as f of x and g of x. So therefore, I can say that f prime of x equals three x squared minus three, and g prime of x is equal to one. Then go ahead and applying the quotient rule, I'm just gonna take f prime of x times g of x, so that's three x squared minus three, times one, and then add that to g prime of x times f of x, which is one times x cubed minus three x plus one. And therefore, now we can go ahead and combine like terms, and that gives me x cubed plus three x squared minus three x plus one. There is one of them supposed to be x plus two, or this one's supposed to be x plus two. Thank you. I wrote it in um, f, uh, um, f prime of x, three x squared minus three times g of x. Uh, I was looking like that. So x plus two times g prime of x times f of x. Right? Now you can see this one is, we're going to have to multiply that out. So we have f prime of x equals applying FOIL. So you have 3x cubed plus 6x squared minus 3x minus 6 plus x cubed minus 3x plus 1. Does everybody follow how I just multiplied that out? Now we can just go ahead and combine like terms. Uh, so now we have 4x cubed and plus 6x squared and then we have minus 6x, and then minus 5. So that is our slope of our, um, of our function, okay? So now what we need to do is we need to find the actual slope at the, at the point. So I need to evaluate f of 1. So therefore, that gives us 4 plus 6 minus 6 minus 5, which equals negative 1. So therefore, you know, this graph, whatever else, we now have a slope of um, negative 1 at that given point. So remember, writing the equation of the line, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Well, x1, y1, those are two points. And do we now know what the value of the slope is? negative one. So just plug in your information, y minus y1, which is a negative three, equals negative one, times x minus y1, or x1, it's right there. And that is perfectly fine, that is an equation of a line. You could obviously simplify this, y plus three equals negative x minus one. And then you could, you know, you can get that to the other side if you like to, but let's just leave it as that so we don't make any more mistakes.